What is up, guys? It's Tyler from Bullseye Investing here. So today we're looking at a statement issued by GLJ Research Analyst Gordon Johnson comparing to Elon Musk's Tesla's practices similar to Bernie Madoff's Ponzi scheme. Now, a quick disclaimer, I don't personally think that it's fair to directly call someone like Bernie Madoff, even though I personally think that Tesla's overvalued. Johnson was referring to the weird profit margins throughout this comparison, and though I admit it's a bit harsh, I don't think he was doing it too maliciously. He was just pointing something out that that was a tad bit weird. We'll also look at Tesla's rebuttal in this video. So Johnson, one of the biggest Tesla bears out there, issued this statement. The telltale sign of Bernie Madoff's deception was impossibly consistent returns with a number of acute price cuts for Tesla's cars this year across various geographies, yet margins that continue to rise. And we see similarities between Tesla's reported margins and Madoff's returns. So, of course, we know what he's referring to here. He's referring to Bernie Madoff's Ponzi schemes, one of the biggest Ponzi schemes of all time. And this is his main logic, okay? He's arguing that as Tesla decreases the price on their cars, they should increase the orders. This makes sense, of course. And this is actually why he moved his price his number of deliveries estimate from 174,000 vehicles to 185,000 vehicles. But as the, there's a decrease in price, there's price cuts, he says that there should be a decrease in profit margins. This also makes sense, but Tesla sums it up that there's decreased costs, which is why profit margins are able to stay high, even as they're doing price cuts, which increase demand. So let's look at their logic. They said they say that they're making more cars in China, which decreased their cost because it's cheaper to make cars in China, and they're moving more and more car manufacturing in to their lower cost factory in China. But they're also saying, according to CFO Zachary Kirkhorn, that they're seeing benefits from the continuing upward trend of locally built and delivered cars, which has increased from under 50% at the beginning of last year to over 70% more recently. So of course, it's more effective to have locally built cars, and that also is helping to reduce costs. So just some final thoughts, I think that it's weird that as prices drop, so do the margins, but Tesla's explanations do make sense for the most part. I, I think that Tesla is very overvalued, and we can't count Tesla out for aggressive accounting for sure, and this is just a warning to just remain a little bit cautious, but this accusation clearly did not affect Tesla's stock with much impact. Thanks for watching. This was a really short video. I just wanted to give you guys an update. Please consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments, do you think Johnson is crazy or do you think that his arguments have some validity? Like this video. Thanks for watching.